Hi, this is Sheridan. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. We're going to do a fast and fun tutorial on getting the zippers onto your backing fabric. We have our backing fabric, we have our zippers, and we have our pins. First thing we're going to do is open up our backing fabric. and Have it folded in half so that we can identify the center of our backing fabric. Okay. Whether you're working with a large, wide backing or a small baby quilt backing like we're doing right now, the idea is the same. So you lay it down, smooth it out, go get the fold, bring it close to you, put a pin in the fold line, that will identify the center because you folded it in half. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Place a pin in the fold. Just using this as an identification marker. You could do this with a um, washout marker or you could just snip the salvage, that would be fine. But you need to know where the center of your backing is. So now we're going to rotate the backing. Flip up the edge closest to me. Flip up the edge that is far away. We have the center of our backing identified with the pins. Now we'll take our zippers. You take them out of the package. They will be as one, just like this. So we unzip them. They have been marked. Let's show you right here. With a center mark, so we know exactly where these will go on your backing fabric. Separate them. One says bottom left and one says top left. I know that this is my left hand. I'm sitting here. I'm not going to move around while I'm putting the zippers on. So this one says bottom left. That's the first one I'm going to place. Looking for the center mark. Take that pin out. Repin it. That identifies my bottom left. Looking good. The other zipper, top left, has to go on my left side. Looking for the center mark, there it is. Take the pin out, put it right back in before it has a chance for anything to move. Multiple bites will keep it from coming out when you're not, you don't want that to happen. That's, that is keeping you with your center of your zipper to the center of your backing. Notice that I pinned the smooth edge of the zipper to the smooth edge of the fabric. In other words, the teeth are away from the edge. Okay, now let's look at how the spacing of the pins should look. I have, you can see here the center mark where the original pin was, and then I pinned going out to the left I'm going to come back to the center and pin going out to the right. The nice thing about having the two initial pins in position, you can take this and you can sit anywhere and sit comfortably to pin the rest of your pins. It's, um, this is an easy, great way to add the zippers to your backing fabric. Saves you time at the studio. I hope you found this video helpful. Look forward to seeing you in the studio again really soon. Thank you.